start with centers. Kenny, where are you going? So this is going to come as a surprise because I do think the Knicks are going to win this game. And I do like the New York Knicks and I do live in New York, but I like Nicole Jokic tonight at 10.7 K against the Knicks. Look, he did have 47 fantasy points the last time he played the Knicks, but he only played 30 minutes in that game. Now he's played 34 on average over the last two, the Nuggets, they're inspired. They're gunning for that fourth spot out West or the, or the top spot really. Right. But they're, they're in the fight there at the fourth spot. Um, he's gone for five X and three of his last four and the Knicks, they're actually eighth in defensive rating over the last 10 games. That defense has kind of slipped up a little bit to make way for some brolic offense. So the Knicks, they've had a little bit less of an emphasis on defense. You've got Nerlens Noel questionable. If he doesn't go in this game, I like Jokic going against Tosh Gibson. And rebounding has never been something the Knicks have been great at anyway. So I think he should be able to, at the very least, rack up rebounds, have a decently high floor. I think he's got a very good chance of going for 5X again. And at, at, at 10.7K, you know, this guy could maybe be made 11.2. I like the little bit of a savings on Jokic, and I like building around him. Yeah, 10-7, the second most expensive center tonight uh, behind Giannis at 10-9. Where are you going on this one, Nick? Well, I'm certainly never going to steer anyone away from Nikola Jokic, especially at that price. So I do like that call. Uh, very big of you, Kenny, to to pick him against the New York Knicks. Thank I'm going to go just no, a little I'm bit down. And growing as a person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go a little bit down in the pricing down to 10, six and Devonta Sabonis 74 and 75 DraftKings points over his last two games. Those came against pretty fantasy friendly opponents uh, in OKC, which is doing whatever it can to lose games at this point in Washington, uh, which is right up there in pace right behind Indiana. In fact, which over the last 15 games still leads the NBA in pace. They're second since the all-star break still kind of wrapping my head around that. It's just not how you picture the Indiana Pacers playing, but uh, he goes up against you know, another really, really strong opponent tonight. And if there's no Malcolm Brogdon for Indiana, I mean, he is very clearly the number one option for a team that has a ton of injuries right now. Uh, I know he missed like six games in a row at the end of April with what initially looked to be you know, somewhat of a serious back injury, something that could maybe cause him to miss more time. And then he comes back and he's been completely unrestricted. He played 43 minutes uh, against Washington on Monday, had 32, 19, nine assists and three steals in that game. So I'm expecting another big minute night from Sabonis.